Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about TEI or MPI index, uh, Myocardial Performance Index or TEI index. It has been almost more than 20 years, uh, Dr. Tay with uh, his colleague research on this index and uh, they use it for early stage of diastolic or some kind of systolic dysfunction detecting in specific uh, diabetes, amyloidosis, dilated cardiomyopathy and ischemic heart disease. But recent research uh, show the sensitivity and specific specificity of this uh, index is not too much high and it brought under question mark uh, this using this index for clinical implication. Besides of that, nowadays we have strain on other modality that give us very better and more accurate result. Anyway, as an echo tech, is not bad to know how you do uh, TEI or MPI. For this, uh, for performing this uh, and measuring this index, we can do it in two technique. One mitral valve inflow Doppler uh, and another tissue Doppler on the mitral valve analyst. And the in true uh, Doppler flow and continuous Doppler, we use uh, any of those four chamber or three chamber view. In four chamber view, we try to uh, make it a little between apical four and five, and we put cursor between the LVOT and mitral valve. So the machine can catch both LVOT outflow and mitral valve inflow Doppler. The same way they put cursor between LVOT and mitral valve, then when we hit the continuous machine, uh, give us a Doppler that has both uh, flu for the mitral valve and for LVOT, outflow and inflow. For the way we measure uh, T-index, we have to uh, calculate uh, and measure IVCT and IVRT, isovolumetric contraction time and isovolumetric relaxation time and ejection time. Ejection time belongs to the LVOT Doppler. We just measure that one. This is give us time of ejection time or E and these two uh, isovolumetric time combination of them. So how we do it, how we can detect those spots. For the IVCT, uh, we go uh, on the, at the end of the A wave, we have mitral valve inflow E and A. At the end of the A, there is a click. You can see here, there is a click. This is correspond to the, here, this correspond to the mitral valve closing. So we put one cursor there and another, we put it beginning of the LVOT jet here. So another click that is correspond to the opening of the aortic valve. So this two line will be IVCT. For IVRT or isovolumetry relaxation time, we go end of the ejection LVOT Doppler, there is a click that is closing aortic valve and opening mitral valve. So between the, those two will be IVRT. Combination of those two divided to the ejection time, here ejection time, it give us T index. For uh, continuous uh, Doppler, the normal of T index, they say, is should be above 0 0.4. If it's less than 0 .0, 0 0.4, it will be abnormal. For calculation T in the with the tissue Doppler, we do on the apical 4 
in the medial or lateral annulus, usually on the medial. It gives us a tissue doppler of the medial annulus. You know, we are familiar with those wave S prime, E prime, and A prime. For uh, measuring those parameter IVCT and IVRT, we go the same. We find this is S systolic time that correspond starting with the end of the S or beginning of ST and finish at the peak of T. This is your S prime and E prime start at the end of the T. So how do you go find those spots? At the IVCT, beginning of the IVCT, we have a click again that corresponds to the mitral valve closing and another click that corresponds with the aortic valve opening. So this two place, these two, it become IVCT. The same way we go for IVRT at the end of the S, aortic valve close, give a click. And after that, mitral valve open, another click here, one click, another click. These two between them become IVRT. The same equation give you T index. I hope you like it. Have a good time.